Hi everyone, uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, another packet tracer activity, which is related to the device security. So we are going to work on PT activity 16.5.1, where we are going to work with securing of the network devices. So let's get going. So this is how our uh, packet tracer activity looks like. We have a topology where uh, we have a PC, laptop, and another uh, PC, and there are two switches which are named SW1 and SW2 and a router RTRA. So let me go here, just let me drag this to this little bit so that I, we can have a good clarity what is so. Now we are we have an addressing table and it is asking me to keep this activity in manage, uh, okay. In this activity, you will configure a router and a switch based on a list of requirements. Okay, let's go get down to instructions and document the network. Complete the addressing table with the missing information. The only missing information in this table are these three, uh, or these one, two, three, four uh, table uh, columns where regarding the gateway. So we need to fill what, find out what is the gateway, default gateway for uh, switch one, which is this one, and PC, which is this, and uh, laptop, which is this, and your remote PC, which is here. So for all these three, the default gateway will be obviously the IP address of this interface. So if I just move my mouse over here, you can see that this interface is G0 by 0 by 0. Here it is given that the IP address assigned to the router's RTR is G0 by 00 interface is 192.168.1.1. So you just need to fill in this IP address across here, one, two, three, for these three. For these three devices, the default gateway will be the this address. Whereas for remote PC, now it it the default gateway for this remote pc will be the address of this particular interface for the, the other uh, in, uh, the ip address for the other routers interface is 192.168.2.1 we need to type it in here so this is how you fill the addressing table okay so now let me go, go scroll down it says that first you need to start with the router uh, prevent router configuration requirements so let me click on router so let me start working on it. So let me press enter. So I directly clicked on the router so that I can uh, have a clear view with the CLI interface. So for that, let me type in uh, enable, enter, configure, terminal, enter. After that, it says prevent iOS from attempting to resolve mistyped commands to domain names. Simply no IP domain lookup. This will prevent any misspelled names or misspelled uh, commands to go for domain lookups. That command is sufficient. Okay. Post names that match the values in the addressing table. Okay. What is the router name? RTR F N A. So host name R T R hyphen A. So let me press enter. Okay. Good. So after that, what we need to do is let me go to the next. Uh, Command require that newly created passwords be at least 10 characters in length. We worked on this, so we need to write in security passwords minimum length 10. That means any password that we are going to set here will be at least 10 characters in size. Okay, that is also done. That is asking me uh, a strong 10 character password for the console line. Okay, and it has given me a password which is 10 characters in length here. It is asking me to use this as your console password. Okay, I can do that. Ensure that console and VTY sessions close after seven minutes exactly. Okay, now let me go into the line uh, uh, console mode and console zero. So we went into the line mode and in this it is asking me use this password, password, uh, this. Let me copy paste this. It may, uh, Okay, so let me have to remove it from here. So, control C. Okay. And where is this? Let me get back here to RTRA. Let me get back to RTRA. Password. Paste. See. Paste. There you go. And the same password. So, enter. And after that, it is asking me to make sure that these console and VTY sessions close after seven minutes exactly. So for that, the command which I need to use is execute timeout 
7 because it says exactly 7 minutes and 0 seconds. So this command will tell you close out after or time out after 7 minutes and 0 seconds. Absolutely. So this is how you do it. And after that, I think we are done with console. So let me put in login. That is done. Okay, it is done. Now a strong encrypted 10 character password for the privileged executive mode. It is asking me to using for this activity, uh, it is permissible to use the same uh, password as the console line. So whatever you have given here, you can do the same. Enable the correct. And let me paste it to the same way. The same password I'm using it again. It is the same. Can we can use the same? And then it is asking a MOTD banner that warns about unauthorized access to devices. Okay. Banner MOTD. Uh, no. Uh, unauthorized entry. Uh, yes, that should be done. So I did the banner message and it is asking me password encryption for all passwords. Service password encryption. Just press tab. That should be done. Service password encryption. Okay. Now it is asking me to create a username of net admin and encrypted password of login admin. Okay. Let me do that. Uh, username. Username N E T A D M I N secret L O G A capital A D M I N uh, supplement remark and then a nine. So this is how you create a username and assign the password to it to that username and that is also done. Okay. Now it's asking me to enable SSH. You need to specify the IP domain name. So IP uh, domain name it is saying to me to use it as security.com okay security.com please make sure that you don't do any spelling mistakes and after domain name you have to type in crypto key generate rsa enter then that comes to 1024 that is the key size okay that is done and is asking me the VTV lines should use SSH for incoming connections. Okay. And it's also saying that the VTV line should use the username and password that were configured to authenticate logins. Okay. We can do that. Line VTY 0 to 15. Enter. Transport input SSH. Enter. And also please remember that it says that ensure that console TV and VTY sessions also close out after seven minutes exactly. So the same command which we issued for console uh, line, we should also issue that you should also implement the same command for the VTB lines also. So execute timeout seven phase zero seven minutes and zero seconds. Enter login local. Enter. Okay. So this is how you do it, and then uh, we need to type in that is done for us. That's all completed. Now, what are the things? It is also saying that the VTV line should use the username and password to the to configure to authenticate logins. Okay. That is all done. And transport, once we do this, you can should also dive in crypto key generate RSA. Yes, I we actually did that. Sorry, we actually did that. That's fine. And it is asking me. Uh, you need not do this a repetition. Uh, impede brute force login attempts by using a command that blocks login attempts for 45 seconds. If someone fails three attempts within the 100 seconds. Yes, we know what is the command that we need to use here. So you need to type in login block if and for 45, 45 seconds. You need to stop it if there are attempts. Attempts. Three within 100. Okay. So this is how I think we completed all the router configuration requirements. I think I'm done. So I didn't miss any points. I think everything's done now. Okay. Okay, fine. This is done. So let me uh, minimize this and then uh, let us go to the next part. It says switch configuration requirements. All unused switch ports are administratively down. Okay. The SW1 default management interface should accept connections over the network and use the information in the addressing table. The switch should be reachable from remote networks. Okay, so that means we are going to configure SW1. 
So let me click on SW1. So let me just expand a little bit. And then let me click here, press yes, enable, configure terminal, host name should be given as it is, what it is given in the addressing table, SW1, enter, okay. So let me see what else is written over here. It is written over there, so that we can start working on this, okay. Okay, just, uh, yes. So it is saying that use the same password basically it is the same password so enable correct we are going to use the same thing of course one two three five but please execute mode enter now it is asking me to configure ssh okay so configure ssh as was done for the router you have to do the same name and you have to use the same uh, domain name also so ip Domain name. We use this particular security.com as the domain name. I'm going to use the same security.com. Okay. And after that, let me see. It says it here you have to create a user, username, N E T A D M I N uh, secret L O G A D M I N exclamation mark nine. It's the same thing. This is what this is what we are doing right now so i created the domain name i created the uh, username and password i created the user also then it is asking me the vtv line should only accept connections over ssh okay fine we can do that now before we go there we have to verify whether these ports are down or not and we have to give one we have to close all unused ports on the switch for that the easiest thing for me to do is just browse your mouse on switch you will get all this information here. If you see, just write it, make sure you take a pen and piece of paper and write it down. You can see that, uh, except for fast ethernet two, fast ethernet 10 and the gigabit ethernet one, everything is, everything else is down. So we just need to close those ports down. So for that, I'm going to use the interface range command. Okay, for, let me see that interface range what i need to type in is f zero by one because it's not being used comma f is being used so i can't just include two here f zero by three till nine because f ten is currently under usage comma f zero by eleven till the end 24 comma there are two gigabit that are not ports on the switch one is currently being used g zero by one is used g zero by two is no longer in use so zero by two so this is how your interface command works and press enter then you simply type in shutdown so all those ports which you are not going to use or which are open are now closed are now closed i closed everything down this is a very good practice of closing down or disabling the ports which are open or which are not currently in use okay done i did all these things so now let me go into the line vty now it is asking me create a username etc etc i am uh, you also have seen that for sw1 you have to give this ip addressing there is an ip addressing scheme here okay so for uh, sw1 i need to enter that let me get out of this and interface vlan1 because it's sw SVA, svi switch virtual interface interface vlan1 ip address 192.168.1.254 space 255.255.255.0 and then we have to issue no shut down after this we also should involve the ip default gateway which is 192.168.1.1, which is nothing but the IP address assigned to the G0 by 0 by 0 interface of the router. So this is also done. And then we let me come down. So I give I have given the IP addressing also. I configured IP addressing, I configured the default gateway for my switch. And let me go to line VTY 0 to 15. Okay now here it is it should accept only connections over ssh okay fine 
transport input SSH. Okay. And then uh, it is asking me that it should work with uh, login local. Okay, fine. And let me generate the keys also. Crypto, uh, let me do this login local. Enter crypto key generate RSA. Okay, now it is going to create those 124 uh, bit length RSA keys. I think I'm done. This just completion is 100%. So um, I'm pretty sure that we covered each and every step here. Uh, so let us just check. It says that hosts on both LAN should be able to ping the switch management interface. The switch management interface is, means this, they should be able to ping it. So let me just check whether this is this has gone through or not. So let me click on the laptop. Let me click on the laptop. So let me click on PC. So let me see if I am able to ping it. Go to command prompt. Ping. I am typing in the SVA. Is this? I am typing in the switch switch once interface. Press enter. So let me see if it goes through or not. Press time out. Yes, we are getting the pings back. So it's working properly. So let me try the same thing with laptop also. Let me go to command prompt. Type in ping. Let me see if it works. Okay. You can check other things also. You can try for SSH and everything. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. So this is where I'm actually able to ping it directly. And you have created the SSH. You can do that for yourself. Just, just try it yourself whether you can do the SSH access to these devices or not. I just type the ping in. But I want you to try the SVA interface and also the rotors interface that we just typed in. So, okay, guys. I hope uh, you understood what we did here and uh, how to assign the username and passwords and how to secure your devices. So thank you very much.